Now, my YouTube channel is not actually about computer science or scripting or coding or anything like that or configuration. It's actually just about being lazy. Um, you can put it in other words. You could say it's all about optimization, which is really just like a good sounding word for being lazy, but that's what it is. Um, so one of the things that I did quite a while ago that some of you guys will know about is I put together, well, I should probably give the, the background to all of this. Um, so uh, when I started using Linux, specifically when I started using Arch Linux, I had this thing where I didn't know about, I was just really getting to, into Linux as a whole thing, and I liked Arch Linux because I could install it from the bottom up, it didn't install anything I didn't want, I could very easily make changes and stuff like that, and even when I was sort of grappling in the dark, it's something I really liked. Um, but I got to the point where I did, I knew so little about Linux that if I messed something up in the installation, I would basically have to reinstall from the very beginning because I didn't know how to handle it. So I went through a period of my life, this was a couple of years ago, where I'd install Arch Linux like once a day on a computer. I'd play around with something here or play around with something there. So in the back of my mind, it was like, it'd be nice to automate that process, or at least not, the installation isn't that bad, but the configuring, Especially because I have, you know, I have these things that I always want on my computer or, you know, these particular settings or stuff like that. Um, so that was sort of in the back of my mind. And then when I started a YouTube channel, um, it got to the point where people would see, and I still get questions like this all the time. People see my computer and they're like, oh my god, look at that looks cool. I wish I could do that. Jeez. How, gee willikers, can you do a video on how to, you know, make your computer like that? And I'm like, dude, it's like a... It's a long, lifelong journey. I mean, that's sort of what the channel is about. I mean, a lot of my videos are on configuring this or that or something else. But one of the things I eventually made is these things called LARBs, which is just Luke's Auto Rice bootstrapping scripts, just because it sort of sounds like a real word, even though it sounds like a bad real world word. Um, and the reason I did, so what these things are, or nowadays is just one script, and that is this thing here. It is a script that automatically you can give it any blank install of Arch Linux or any Arch based distro it doesn't actually have to be blank uh, just run the script give it some settings like your username and stuff like that and it will install um, basically a desktop environment that's exactly the same as mine here um, uh, with all the different settings and stuff like that down to the browser and you know all the different terminal programs that I use and stuff like that um, everything is all in one place nice and configurable I've used this multiple times when I have hardware failures and I, I know there are a lot of um, uh, subscribers who watch this. Now, why am I talking about this in this video? Well, I actually rewrote the script um, and rewrote it in such a way that I think that a lot of people could actually use it pretty easily. So now, I mean, originally it was just the script that uses my dot files and you installs the programs I want and the settings that I want, and that's useful enough and that can be changed, but I actually rewrote this thing in the past week um, so that it's really just a whole bunch of different functions that are easily easy to move around easy to do things with um and really well you, it also has options where you can give it a programs list or give it uh, a cut your own dot files repository that you can let it use now what it does now is instead of just having a bunch of install commands for each of the programs um it takes a csv file with programs in it and uh, this is a little ugly and let me pull it up and skim um, so what you can give it is a CSV file that looks something like this, where um, the first column is a tag, I'll talk about that in a second, the second column is like the name or URL of the program, and the third is like a description of the program uh, in verb phrase format. Now LARBS does a bunch of stuff, but sort of the main thing it does, uh, I have a little simulation of it here, is that it runs through, it will basically parse a file that looks like this. Um, and give you a dialog interface for installation of all these programs uh, based on the tags you give it. Notice the ones I've tagged with A. These are AUR programs, so LARBs will know to run a different uh, command to install those. Uh, the ones with G are Git repositories that you can make install, so that's what those are for. And it will cycle through all of these and give you this nice little interface. You know, it counts them all up. Um, you know, gives you the name, gives you the description and stuff like that. So now it's at the point where um, 
well, I'm about to sort of officially re-release these scripts for public consumption, and again, they'll be updated with the dot files I use now. But you can just as easily use the scripts now. You can give them, let me, uh, what is it? Uh, you can give them custom options like, uh, you know, a dot .files repository, uh, a programs CSV that's sort of like this, where you list out all the programs and their information or how you install them. Um, so it's very much usable for pretty much anyone if you want to fork this and use it for whatever you're going to be doing. Um, but as it is now, if you just run it by the default, it will install my void rice repository as it has always installed. But I'm actually adding a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, so right now, I've sort of slimmed, slimmed it down so it only installs, I guess, 66 packages, which isn't actually as much as it did before, just to sort of minimal, minimize it. Um, I'm also working on a post-installation a uh, wizard, I guess, that gives people additional options. Like it no longer installs like tech or law tech. Um, now, you know, I sort of want to have like a, a post install interface for that. Or if you want to configure uh, a terminal based email client or something like that, uh, since I have Mutt wizard and all of that stuff that I wrote, um, I might as well have sort of a post install thing for all of that. But it's gotten to the point where this is just a stim simulation. It's just running through these. But um, it takes about 10 minutes to install all of this stuff now. So it's a whole lot quicker than it used to be. And it's a whole lot uh, more manipulatable. Um, now, if you want, I might as well... Well, maybe I'll do it in a different video. But I just sort of wanted to do this announcement just to throw it out here. Um, but I might talk specifically about how I do specific things. I know I, I said that I was going to do some videos on shell scripting and stuff like that. Um, so I might talk about just use this as an example of, you know, certain things that are in scripting or something like that. So keep your eyes out for that or other videos. But anyway, this is, this is just an update. So go check it out on GitHub. Um, I think it can definitely be useful for you if you need to install, you know, quickly deploy your configs and programs and stuff on, you know, your own, on new computers or something like that. Because all you really need is... Uh, a list of programs and your a dot .files repository that you can give it and basically does whatever you want. So check it out. Uh, link in the description or something. Maybe, oh, I don't want to say that. I'll probably be too lazy to put it in the description. No, I'll do it this time. I said it. All right, well, I'll see you guys next time.